Hello and welcome back to part 2 of the cemetery and crypt build. Um, basically all the uh, polystyrene brickwork has been completed so it was time to get it all primed. For this I used the black acrylic paint and PVA mix and just basically started lathering it on over the whole thing. You will see shortly that um, I've kind of hampered myself a little bit. I made some fencing, raw iron fencing out of uh, cross stitch mesh and cocktail sticks. Now in my mind they look fine, but what I should have done is uh, not put them on until I'd painted the base. Um, you'll see, you'll you will see that they actually get in the way of painting quite frequently, and they were actually quite difficult to paint themselves because of all the little gaps and areas that needed covering. Um, I soon learned during the painting process that if I'd have not glued them on until after painting then the walls would have been a lot easier to paint and the fence in itself well I could have just given it a blast with black spray paint and that would have saved me a lot of messing about and uh, somewhat frustration so as you can see um, I'm almost there I'm still chipping away at it I've got all the brickwork painted and I'm just uh, finishing off the last bits of gate and fencing. This really proved to be a silly mistake on my part which cost me I feel a lot of time and caused a lot of frustration and you know looking over the model now I'm pretty sure I've missed a few bits here and there of the fencing but you know I'll touch that up as and when I come across it it's it's not hard to fix it's just if I thought about it properly in the first place it would have saved me a lot of hassle really so with it all painted out black it was just a case of letting it dry you can see I've missed a few bits but I'll fix them later so with all that dry it's time to move on to the bit that I've been dying to do. Um, I've been dying to get the coloured paints on, as I call it. Uh, so I'm starting off with a lightish grey. It's actually emulsion from a tester pot. Uh, there's a lot of paint in these little pots I'm blend. And uh, it's just a case of giving the whole thing a coat. Oh, well, all the brickwork a coat all the way around all over and again you will notice that the the raw iron fencing is again causing me problems um, next time I do anything with fencing like this I am absolutely definitely going to uh, glue them on afterwards just re recording this audio watching the video back it, it, it's actually frustrating me that I never thought about this and you know I've caused myself such a bloody headache with it. Anyway, it is what it is. Got to move forward, learn from it. So I've got these uh, five tiny little headstones that I made out of uh, DAS air drying clay. I did make them a bit back, but with the DAS clay, I don't like to give it a lot of drying time. I don't know why it's just an habit I've formed so now I'm just going over it with a bit of the same grey out of the tester pot that I used on the walls uh, I have watered the paint down a little bit just with a wet brush because it was quite thick and there are some tiny tiny details in the headstones that I didn't want obscuring by the emulsion you know like any texture or shapes patterns filling up So 
So the first grey coat of paint is now dry and I decided to use the technique where you select a couple of other colours and pick out a few bricks. So I chose uh, another two shades of grey, one that you can see now that is really light and another one that is kind of between the first grey and the one I'm painting now. So all I'm doing really is I'm, I'm going around and I'm picking random bricks and painting them with each shade. Um, thankfully I did remember that a, a brick is the same colour all the way through so I remembered to paint the same brick on the inside of the cemetery. So here we are just to give you uh, a quick look at the third shade of grey going on and um, the camera doesn't really do it justice uh, for whatever reason it's it's changing the shade of these paints quite a lot don't really know why it's just is what it is I guess but uh, anyway I, I go around all four sides picking out random bricks with this third shade of grey and just do what I feel so I've got to a point where I'm happy with the bricks I've picked out it's not perfect but it's the first time I've had a go at this technique so I'm, I'm, I'm reasonably, reasonably happy with the result I'm not sure, I hope I haven't done it too uniform though so now it's time to get a bit of the ground covering down for this I'm using a mix of sand PVA glue and a good bit of brown paint I think it was I think it's burnt umber I'm using it it's either burnt umber or raw umber I can't quite remember but either way um, get them three in the bowl and give it a good mix around I wasn't quite happy with the colour so uh, I thought it was a bit too bright maybe so what I did was as you can see is I just added a few drops of the black acrylic paint into it and mixed that up. So as you can see, adding that black into the mix really darkened it down and gave it what I feel was a lot better earthy tone. So now that I'm happy with the colour, it was just a case of uh, slowly but surely dropping it into the graveyard and spreading it out. However, as you will see, for whatever reason, it really wasn't sticking to the base I'm not sure if that's because it was too smooth or they want enough PVA in the mix or whatever so I end up taking it off and uh, putting down some PVA glue first All I did really was uh, drop a blob in and spread it out roughly. It doesn't have to be neat or anything, just as long as it covers the base well. Now that the PVA is on the base, you'll see that the uh, homemade 
dirt, texture, paste, whatever you want to call it, is sticking a lot better. It does make it a little bit sloppier, but uh, I wasn't so worried. I figured it would dry out well enough. Once my homemade texture paste was down, I remembered I actually had some dried out mud that I dug out from the garden left over from a previous pot project, so I figured why not throw a light coat of that over the top of it. You know, it adds extra colours and extra textures. I thought it might make it look a bit better, and I'm glad I did it. I thought it looked pretty good. After this I then threw on more around the edge some of my homemade flock. I kind of left it a little bit bare in the middle hoping that it would resemble ground that had been heavily walked on. So there it is almost complete and I'm quite happy with it if I'm honest. I really like it. Some great colours there in my opinion. You might disagree but that's okay, I like it. So I'm coming towards the end of this project now. Uh, all there is left to do is stick down the headstones that I've created and the crypt itself. I just want to say a massive thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. For the time being, I'll leave you with a little bit more footage and hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.